Hi everyone, welcome to Heru Apps tutorial and today's tutorial is um, Windows Movie Maker Live 2011. Uh, this is a very nice program that will uh, allow you to edit your movies, add special effects, uh, transitions between the pages or if you have let's say uh, pictures that you'd like to put in your movie you can certainly do this, add uh, even music or audio commentary or so I'll show you first of all how to get the program. You can visit my website at uh, heruapps.com and uh, I got a link for you just to download the program directly from Microsoft. And then download and install the program and once it is um, installed and you're gonna see a screen like this. Uh, this is very user-friendly, uh, easy to use. All you have to do is the first thing um, to import your movie. So you take your movie and you drag it in this area of the uh, tool. Now I had some issues with uh, AVI files. Um, it would not recognize certain AVI files, probably depending on the compression uh, tool used to create the AVI. But the um, WMV will work and MPEG will work. Um, just test it and you see um, if you have to, you can always convert your format to a working format and then import it in the Movie Maker. Uh, I have this movie already imported. Uh, it takes some time to process. Um, like for this movie, which is 5 minutes and 35 seconds, uh, it took about 4 minutes to process. So, And uh, once you uh, see the movie, um, like on the right side, you can hit play. And this will show you what your movie looks like. And this is whoops, this is just a tutorial that I, I created. So you're going to see some screenshots and uh, of the stuff I did. So there's no sound this one. I just recorded the screen. So I have the audio file matching this video file that I've recorded on a separate channel. And I'm just going to drag this MP3 file in my project. Just gonna drag it, drop it here. So you see that the um, green area above the movie is the audio file. So I'm gonna put it in sync with the beginning of the file. So if I hit uh, play, you will hear what's what it looks like. Welcome everyone to Haru Apps Tutorials and today's tutorial is about uh, how to edit a PDF document. So um, yeah, so it is now in sync uh, with my movie because like I said I created the audio and the video um, together just using separate software. So uh, if I want to add something before this, let's say I want to add another movie, I have an, intro an, an, an introduction. Uh, for my uh, tutorials that I'm gonna see I've got this here so I'm gonna add it and let's see what it looks like welcome everyone to Haru Apps Tutorials and today's tutorial so it's not working because the audio I wanted to match the second movie that I've created so I'm just gonna drag this to the second frame right here so see, now I've got my movie and uh, it should be all in in sync. It's going to start um, the MP3 when the second movie starts. So let's say I want to add uh, a title to this. So I want to add a title. You're going to click on the caption tab on the menu and just type whatever you want. And I'm going to put it um, right here. And then I want it to be, um, well, see here, it tells me that this movie here at last, the duration is 12 seconds. So I want at least to be, let's say, 20 seconds. So I'm going to click on the text duration uh, tab here, and I'm going to select 20 seconds. So see now it has uh, a beige uh, kind of tab below the movie. So this is where your text is going to be. And I want it to be from the beginning for 20 seconds. So let's see what is what this is going to look like. Well, 
Welcome everyone to Haru Apps Tutorials and today's tutorial. So it looks pretty good. Um, let's say I want to add a transition. So let's say I want it to make, you know, I want it to look um, really neat. So what I'm going to do is um, look at the visual effect or the animation tab. And these are going to be, see, it's going to look like, like this or it gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. So I want mine to be, um, let's say, a page that turns like this. All right, so I'm just going to click it. All right, let's say I want to add, uh, at the end, a picture. So I'm going to go way at the bottom, and I'm going to grab a picture that I have, and I'm just going to take a picture of this nice gentleman here, and I'm going to add a special, yeah, I want to add a special effect, which is going to be, let's say this one. And all right, so if I want to preview what it's going to look like, I just go where it is in the movie. I click on it and I hit the play on the top here. Let's see what it looks like. Grams, thanks for watching. Excellent. So now that we're happy with what we've got, um, all you have to do is obviously do a preview, like just do, you know, play your movie completely, make sure you're, you're happy with it, and uh, you're going to save it. Now, to save it, you click on the home, home button, and at the right, it says save movie. Uh, you're going to click on it. And then you get a bunch of options. Um, you can have different settings uh, for, let's say, high def display. Um, if you want to burn it directly to a DVD for a computer and for a Zoom, and you get different uh, formats, you can even customize the settings. But for this uh, purpose, I'm going to save it for a computer and I'm going to call it Movie Maker. And it, the only format it allows you to save it as is a, M, a WMV. Uh, which is fine. You can always upload this to YouTube. Um, it, it's actually high def, so it, it, it's fine. And you hit save. And uh, there we go. We are done. Once the movie's created, you can play it, upload it, and you just got yourself a professional movie. And it was done with a free software. Now, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will catch you next time. You can always visit my website at www.haruapps.com for more tutorials. I've got video podcast and free software. Thank you for watching.